Developer update. The knight added the ability to manually swap guards. Oh shit, so knight's getting a buff? Oh shit. I don't think I like that though. Each guard has a specialty. So if I had the ability to choose the right guard for each situation. Hi, oh. Link. See and chat Link. See waving. <sighs> Man, thank you for 61 <sighs> months. I appreciate it. I mean, I quite like this change, but I don't know if I like that as Survivor. Um, patrol paths must be at least 10 meters in length. Oh, so you can't just fucking put them in a loop. That's nice. Add a multiplier to guard hunt time based on path length. Longer paths increase hunt time. Okay. When the knight is within 8 meters of a guard, the guard's hunt timer depletes 3 times faster. Trouble regard your feet in a loop is often the best choice and leaves little count play for the survivor with added incentives. Okay, cool. Reduce the hunt time for this. Reduce the hunt time for Wait, increase the jailer's <laughs> hunt time. Can't affect is the is the range one or I uh can't affect banner time. <sighs> so wait, we want the can't affect. Is that the big one? Okay, well, jailer is the no maybe jailer's the one. Uh Carnifex was previously the best at breaking both <sighs> both breaking things and keeping so I was occupied, making the best of mobile choices. We swapped these hunt times. Around making the jailer the specialist for patrolling and chasing the longest. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Breaking time <sighs> to this. They buffed that. Assassin breaking time to 5. Jailer to 5. Detection range to 10. To 10. 16. Okay. Well, this seems like a buff, right? This seems like a healthier buff. Yeah, jailer's the one with the, with the longer range. Okay, nice. Good. I think that's a healthier night change. Yeah, yeah, Kate, okay, yeah, cool, thank you. Uh, singularity, nice, okay. Taking control of a biopod will now cause it to aim at the nearest survivor in line of sight. Okay. Huh. Automatically. Wow, okay, after 0 0.2 seconds, targeting progress now decays over, over the next 0 0.5 seconds. I don't understand that. <sighs> when controlling a biopod survivor, now only glow if they can be targeted. Okay. Decrease biopod targeting cooldown after slipstreaming to three seconds. Targeting cooldown. Okay, like when you want to shoot them twice. Include the UI, UI when using biopods when shooting with the killer. Okay. <sighs> Singularity can be hard to learn, but deadly when masters have made some adjustments to make targeting size of biopods easier. Okay. Added the ability to destroy the currently controlled biopod. That's really nice. <sighs> the killer can now hear audio. I like that. It's more like actual patrolling now. Well, not patrol, but like a uh, map control. Yeah. The killer now mm. receives killer instinct when a survivor is lips yeah. slipstreamed. Okay, that's nice. The last control biopod has its aura revealed in yellow for 10 seconds. Was so 5 seconds. New, new the singularity uh. gains 3% haste while on overclock. Overclock's duration no longer scales with the number of slipstream survivors. That's fine. Increase overclock's base duration to 5.7. Stuns caused by perks uh. during overclock will now cause overheat. What the fuck does that mean? What's overheat mean? And go right it to the base mm. kit, the soma thing. Mm. Just a scale. Okay, added an aim assist effect to shooting a slipstream survivor. Okay. Increase an aim assist when creating a bio biopod. Oh, increased it. Okay. Passive EMP printing will now be limited to 97%. The remaining process must be done manually. That's really good. <sighs> Supply cases have that have reached the ma pr passive printing limit now that all revealed. Disabled pyropods will purse shortly before they reactivate it. Okay. Increase your aura range for the cases. Decrease range of the MPs. Decrease immunity to slipstream after using an EMP. So what's what does the overheat mean? Now I think they say what overheat is. What the fuck is that? So So stun perks. Cool. Stuns caused by perks will cause overheat. What's overheat? <sighs> Good thing, bad thing? I don't know. The EMPs didn't need enough. Yeah, a little bit. I don't need. It's only a slight nerf, though. Mm. 
I think over here is when you get stunned during overclock. Oh! Uh. <laughs> you mean... Okay, but... Yeah, okay, so you get slowed. Okay, 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 that makes sense, sure. Uh, updated various add-ons. Reduce the time it takes to switch back to Singularity 0 0.5. Reduce the time to switch back to 1.5. Yeah, that was fucked. When you would switch back a hook and you went on a biopod, it'd be five seconds. Felt really shit. <sighs> That's really nice. Okay. Yeah, with an Andy camp. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm excited by seeing. I always quite like Singularity. This is a mid chapter notes pie. This is mid chapter stuff. Knight got a buff, but Knight also got hit. You can't, you can't just put a guard on a pallet anymore. It has to be ten meters. So I think guard will be uh, knight. Knight will be more interesting to play against for sure. Singularity is like a fucking essay, but they just made Singularity a lot easier to play. Darkness revealed. Increase aura reveal duration. Okay, they re they buffed this. That's nice. I'm all ears. Reduce cooldown. Okay, nice. Sure. Perks that don't get used much getting buffs. We like to see it. Thank you. Just buff them a bit. More oppression. Oh, yes. Suppression, finally. Good. Darkness revealed. Good. I'm all ears. Good. Uh. Terrible torment. Reduce cooldown to 30 seconds or six. Yeah, wonderful. Oppression, finally. Finally, fucking 40 seconds to eight. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, cut them in half. People might actually take these more. Uh. Dragon script. Oh, fucking finally. This is not a copy and paste scenario. We've done the same thing for Dragon's Grip. Yeah, good. It's still gonna suck because even mm. with Dragon's Grip, if you like kick it, it, you still get the cooldown when the duration is gone and it like resets it. But it's, yeah, good. I like all these. Brilliant. Machine learning ah. increased duration to 60 seconds. It's still shit, but at least if you if you get it off. Yeah, I'll alter that. Please. Decrease starting skill check penalty to fit minus 15. It, yeah. <laughs> I still wish to all die that got like some kind of skill check bonus. Uh, very strong later in the match with some luck, but a large penalty of the means it'll do more harm than good. Mm. Okay, yeah, sure. And empathic connection, increasing bonus to 30%. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, sure. Iron Will, finally, Iron Will's back. Mm. I saw the spoiler in chat, someone spoiled <laughs> it. Uh, Iron Will already <laughs> makes Slyos fairly quiet, being with the slightest noise can give away your position. We increase the effects of the perk, reduce the gap between tiers to make lower tiers more useful. <sighs> this is fine. We're back. We're back. But it still doesn't work with exhaustion. But I'm excited. Fucking spirit mains are crying. The spirit mains are crying right now. Yeah, it won't work with exhausted. That's fine. The problem with Iron Will now is it's got two negatives. Just like, what the fuck is that? Thank you for the bees for that. <sighs> yeah, oppression's gonna feel nice, <sighs> definitely. Reassurance, uh, increase healing 70%. Brilliant. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Solidarity, 70%. Good, good, good. Can be a bit a little tricky <sighs> to use. Brilliant. Finally, the buffing perks that are just. They just need a little bit of love, you know, just a little bit. I'm real can, re can replace off the record. And while we're dreaming, I like to be a pony. Oh my god, <sighs> Katie. I don't take uh, exhaustion perks much, so I'm gonna love Iron Will. Babysitter, increased duration of haste to 30. Wow, what the fuck? Babysitter's duration was low, caused it to not provide much value. Holy, 30 seconds? That's a big buff. That's a big buff, chat. That's crazy. Oh my god, imagine Chaos Shuffle now. Chaos Shuffle just got so much better. Oh, I love Babysitter. Babysitter is awesome. Babysitter with a uh, board time is going to be insane. That is a huge buff. <laughs> That's like three times. More than three times. I like that. Hook respawns. Hooks that a survivor has been sacrificed on will repair themselves after 60 seconds. If hooks remain, if hooks remain permanently broken, we could create some dead zones to get a hook. No survivors hack by automatically. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm, that's interesting. They might do. They might have done this because of chaos shuffle. But I like. I like all these. They're not huge, but they just help a little bit. You know. I say triple. Mm. Bye bye comp corner. Yeah. Huh. 
This is good. It's nice that survivor perks got buffed and killer perks. I think it's nice that they... Yeah, they buffed both sides, you know? And they're not like these perks are now OP. I think, if anything, Iron Will might be really good now. Map uh, variants. Added layout variants to your mocha and the almond. Nice! Two maps I actually really like. Possible layouts for each of these three maps. They'll include the same iconic features. Yeah, cool! I like that. I like almond and I like your mocha. Good. Good. Good update. Good update. I think that... Yeah, sounds good to me. 